Stingray, the famous television submarine, prepares for action. Stand by for excitement. It's a triumph for Stingray, and a further success for technicians at a British film studio. For Parade has been invited behind the scenes of the world-famous television series, Stingray, where skillful science deceives the eye, and nothing is what it seems to be. And, as you'll probably guessed, the stars of the studio are man-made puppets, which are known and recognized around the world. For Stingray goes to many different countries, including Kenya and Bermuda. Fashioned from fiberglass and made almost alive by painstaking artistry, they bring the age-old art of puppetry truly into the 20th century. As well as looking true to life, these puppets of tomorrow can talk like human beings as well. A magnet fixed to the back of the head receives electric impulses which move the lips in perfect time to the words they speak. A brand new television series is about to be filmed. The completed puppets, perfect down to the smallest detail, are handed to the expert puppeteers who will bring them to life on the screen. As in any film studio, many different skills are needed. A team of nearly 100 technicians, cameramen and artists are kept busy producing a different 60-minute film every week. And now all is ready. The director has a final check and the cameras roll. On the TV screen, the program will be in black and white, but on parade for the first time ever on the cinema screen, you see in color an exclusive presentation of Thunderbirds, the space age story of tomorrow. And don't forget, it's all done with models. It's the year 2000, an atomic airliner comes into land at London Airport, but the undercarriage won't come down. Radio controlled elevator cars come out to bring the giant plane to land, but will they hold? Brakes are applied, but the wheels catch fire. They're out of control. Will the plane crash too? We can't tell you, but when Thunderbird reaches the world's TV screens, just ask any child.